welcome back to Brush Up Your Game, and today we're taking a look at Ian Davies' custom warship Voyager. Yeah, you all know the episode. It's that that kind of what if, and uh, yeah, nice historical, well, kind of historical, what could have been. Uh, anyway, the warship Voyager. 4245, yeah, feels right. Could have seen a fifth attack die. I, just a debate there. After this ship attacks with its primary weapon, this ship may make an attack with its primary weapon targeting a different opposing ship in its primary firing arc. Place two ox power tokens beside this ship. You know, you're going to pay for that. But I like the ability. I like being able to shoot twice. It's just, you know, next round's going to stink. Um, it's a good ability, though. I, I'm, I'm on board. I would like to see a fifth attack die. And I'll leave it at that. Uh, triple crew weapon tech. I'd like to find a way to sneak a second weapon in there. Uh, I, I think it can, especially given the thematics of this. But uh, yeah, I'd go with that, Ian. All right, uh, Captain Janeway. Captain Catherine Janeway. Uh, in phase, disable a crew upgrade assigned to the ship and target an enemy ship within range. Move an ox power token from your ship to the target ship. I like that. That's good. Um... That's a really good in-phase ability. Range 1 to 2, you know, limits, but solid. 3 points feels cheap. Uh, I'd definitely go to 4, uh, if not 5. 5 would be in line with every uh, with most other 8 skill captains. And given that this is a, uh, a hurting power, yeah. I get that she's limited. You know, you're not always going to have a, a card or a, a, a ship to place the token on i think four points though would be worthwhile uh tuvok a two point crew combat phase when you spend a target lock token you may immediately acquire a target lock on a different opposing ship within range uh, you may not target cloak ships with this ability makes sense uh, and that means even ships that have cloaked during the activation phase uh, so that's a trade-off, but I like it. I, I like that you're getting bonus target locks. That really does help. Uh, and that's range one to three. That's a really good ability. Uh, I could see that going three points, but even at two, very, very good card. Chicote, uh, two-point crew again. Activation phase, place three time tokens on a crew upgrade assigned to this ship. Perform an action from your action bar as a free action. Solid ability. Time tokens, bit of a downer, but it's good. I, I like it. Uh, Harry Kim activation phase place three time tokens on a crew upgrade assigned to this ship perform an additional green maneuver from your maneuver dial for two points again that's that's good balanced a lot of time tokens going on here though Neelix adds a crew upgrade slot to your upgrade bar if one of your crew upgrades is supposed to be disabled or discarded discard this card instead solid saver I like him Fits with the theme in the pack. I, yeah, I'm on board. Uh, the Borg Contingent. I suppose you could also name them like Borg Shock Troopers. Something like that. Uh, they are Borg Mirror. Ooh, that's a scary combination. Uh, action target an opposing ship within range. Steal a crew upgrade from the target ship. Ignoring restrictions. Place a disabled token on the stolen crew upgrade. Then discard this card. Oh, range one, just being able to steal a crew. That's pretty good. I might knock them down to three points, but I, I'm, I'm okay with them at four. Seven of nine, and she was fun in this pack. Uh, your captain and crew upgrades may not be targeted by opposing effects. The action of your board contingent crew upgrade may be played as a free action. That, that's really good. Uh, in phase, discard a crew upgrade. Equip a Borg contingent crew upgrade that was discarded from this ship uh, to this ship. Yeah, so you're sacrificing a crew. Basically, you're assimilating a crew to make them a Borg contingent. I think I'm good with that thematicism. Well, okay, I'm definitely good with the thematicism. I think I'm good with the um, the continuity, the the crunch, the mechanics of it. It seems playable. Range one's a good limiting factor on board contingent. To me, that doesn't feel overly powered. 
I, I think that that's a reasonable, uh, reasonable balance. And the fact that you're getting disabled tokens, it's good. Now, you can always discard a crew that you just stole to turn them into the board contingent. But that's a balance thing. The... The EMH or... Uh, yeah. Uh, EMA, Emergency Medical Android, because they the race of people who made the uh, hologram museum thought that the doctor was an android not a hologram uh, add one crew upgrade slot to your upgrade bar discard a crew upgrade uh, from your ship remove all disabled tokens and time tokens from all other uh, crew upgrades assigned to your ship i like it um i i think hmm I'm trying to think uh i mean obviously there's a timing window there i know ian your comment said you forgot to put it in uh, so based on the timing window that goes in there that's going to determine some of this i i do think that this card's probably the one of the more powerful ones it's definitely part of the synergy of the whole pack Overall, it's still a very good card, and I think even being able to do it one time is probably enough. I would say discard this card rather than discard all just a crew. I would say discard this card. I like that it's a tech. It's tougher to save tech. If we discard the emergency medical android, then... I think that that brings enough balance to make it all work. All right. Then we get Worship Voyager. It's a 90-90. Good ship. And I think we're done. Ah, there we go. We got the, the fix there. Um, yeah, activation phase. Okay. Cool. But yeah, I still think he should be discard himself. Uh, but as for the comments, I'm good with him being a tech. I, I know that there's discussion. He was an Android. He was, I could see him being a crew. I like him as the tech. Um, uh, that's not to say that Androids aren't people. Otherwise data would be as a tech the whole time. You could make him a crew, but then you got to figure out some kind of tech that goes in here. Um, I do think the one thing you're missing is a weapon. Um, even if it's some kind of like a a pulse phaser beam um, that is primary plus one. Uh, I mean, I know it's it's built in there, but uh, make it something that can only go on this ship, and uh, maybe it's like a built-in reroll of a blank. Uh, just something that gives a little bit of quality to emphasize the warship aspect of the, the ship. Because uh, mirror the mirror faction does not have a lot of good weapons. You could bring in a 360 fire if you want. Then it's a choice. Uh, do you want to use your named ability? Do you want a 360 fire? Uh, you could bring in a photon torpedo. Uh, that could also work. Because uh, Mirror needs a good photon torpedo, too. Uh, even if you like just did Alliance torpedoes for the Mirror faction, that would be lovely. That would be a great add-on here. So, just a couple of thoughts for you. But Ian, overall, very thematic pack. Love the thematicism here. Great additions. Um, and I'd be happy to see him. So, all right. Hey, uh, everybody, thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. And until next time, keep brushing up your game. Take care.